Okay, I've come for the story now. So my little cousin and I, my little cousin is like seven. We had a bit of a misunderstanding. It wasn't a misunderstanding. Um, she was just being um disrespectful as kids are sometimes because they feel they are right or whatever it is but anyway i feel she was being disrespectful and whatever and i was just like a little bit stunned because like i'm i'm, I'm the big sister who dotes on her little siblings like i do i love kids so i dote on them and whatnot so anyway she said something that was i thought was disrespectful and I probably should have confronted her about it and had a discussion but the thing is that I live all the way in Chipata and it was just yeah I was just so like, I live very far away and it, it just seemed like so much work to have to have a conversation with her about how I felt and I think that's what I should have done because that was the mature and grown-up thing and aware thing self-aware thing to do but I didn't do that because f number one firstly I was annoyed and I was like, okay, how do I have a conversation with this little girl about this in a way that she's going to understand it, in a way that doesn't seem like I'm attacking her or whatever. No, I just left it. And when I would come home for holiday on leave and stuff like that, and since like uh, my family is kind of close-knit, so like I'm always interacting with these guys, my cousins. And so um, she noticed that I was a little bit distant. I wasn't my usual doting self. And again, that is something that when... I'll tell you, as the story progresses, you understand how um, you you can think you're, like, really, really self-aware. And they're, like... So you can come off, like, in my case, thinking I'm really self-aware. Yeah, but they're, like, gaps. So this is another gap that I realized um, after what happened. So anyway, so I'd come home and I wasn't, like, my doting self with her. Because my feelings were hurt. I was hurt. My fe She hurt my feelings? Yes. Seven-year-old little cousin of mine who I love dearly even when she had hurt my feelings hurt my feelings and i was annoyed just hold on yes okay and i was annoyed basically so um i even forgot about it and i forgot about it and i wasn't like really interacting with her the way i usually do and she noticed and you know when someone has done something wrong and they know they've done something wrong they're like sheepish and trying to like impress you and like get your attention and it wasn't working so anyway let's go to what happened now so i'd forgotten about you when i say forgotten about it is like I, I i just said this is going to be a relationship from now on like i won't be my doting self with her as, as usual so i was like you know what maybe one day maybe i don't know but like i was just like content with the way things were <laughs> ah! yeah so on my way from um chipata where I stay I received a um I think she was trying to call me but I couldn't pick up yeah I, I didn't pick up she was calling me on her mom's phone by the way she communicates with me on her mom's phone so I, I saw her mom calling me but because I was like in the bush and whatnot the network was really sketchy I didn't pick up anyway um cut the long story short I reached home and I went onto my whatsapp and I found like four voice notes from her mom and then I played the voice notes it was from her and my little cousin, you guys, was apologizing. And not just apologizing, like, oh, sorry. So my little cousin was apologizing. She apologized. And what really struck me and what I think or what I feel both myself and anyone who's hearing this story can learn is just, I was just so impressed with the way she apologized Number one, she was using feeling statements. She wasn't passing it. She wasn't saying, oh, I did this because of this. She was like, I'm sorry. I think what I said to you might have hurt your feelings. And I'm really sorry. And then she explained why she said what she said. And why she feels and believes whatever it is that she believes what that caused her to say what she said to me. Which I'm not going to get into really. But like she explained herself like that and she kept saying she's really sorry and she's noticed that um i don't treat her the way i used to treat her oh my baby oh my baby you guys my heart i was just like yeah so and then she also spoke about how um i'm her big sister 
and she just she just basically wanted us to go back to the way it was she wanted her big sister back the way she knew her big sister not this version that she had hurt and was what kind of like distant distanced and retreated and i was just so impressed by her awareness first of all her articulateness is there such a word whatever but like she was very articulate in the way she was communicating her use of feeling statements her vulnerability her willingness to apologize and just like say i'm sorry i'm sorry Ah, i was like oh my gosh this child i pray she never loses that part of who she is because honestly wow yeah so that's the story i wanted to share honestly it's just it just really warmed my heart it really warmed i had tears in my eyes when i was listening to her four voice notes they were about like all together maybe five minutes long if i'm not mistaken i have to check but like four voice notes where she was apologizing and explaining not explaining her what she did like us trying to explain it away but like trying to like give me a perspective into where she was coming from even though i do know where she was coming from i totally understand like we have we are the same person <laughs> yeah but like ah uh, bless anyway we're back on track back to i'm back to being the doting big sister and i'm just really glad like i'm just really happy this it's just like lit me up up and warmed my heart and made me feel made me feel so so good and so much we could learn i could learn from a seven year old yeah